Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we are installing a Raxium sequential tail light kit on the Cobra. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jeff. I was born and raised in Northern California. I moved to Utah when I was 12. When I was 19, I moved to a small third world country in the Caribbean called Haiti. After a couple of years, I moved back to Utah and I've been here ever since. Before we install the sequential tail light kit, we have to run a few errands. First thing we need to do is get gas. Yikes. The next thing we need to do is give the Cobra a bath. Next on the list is an emissions test. That's right. It's time to renew the registration on the Cobra. Fingers and toes crossed that she passes. Because as you guys know, she's old and has a ton of miles. She passed, baby. That's so awesome. That was super quick too. Big shout out to Haveline for getting me in and out. That only took about 10 minutes. That's probably the quickest emissions test I've ever been a part of. All right. Now let's get home and do this thing. Have you guys seen the new Countach yet? It looks amazing. I think it turned out really well. I'm pretty bummed that they didn't bring back the pop-up headlights, but it's still a really cool car. The original Countach is obviously still way cooler, but as far as tribute cars go, I like it. Also, check out this 1990 ZR1 that I found on cars.com. It has 62 miles and the asking price is $96,000. That is absolutely crazy, in my opinion. Okay, here we have a Raxium sequential tail light kit that I picked up from American Muscle. It costs about 140 bucks. This little relay part is actually sold separately from the kit. It costs about 30 bucks. And in a little bit, I'll explain what this does. But this is a cool little mod that makes the tail lights light up and blink sequentially, just like old school Mustangs. Basically what we need to do is replace the factory tail light harnesses with these new ones. This is kind of a how-to video, but kind of not. The install process is not difficult at all. I'll just probably show you guys the highlights. And with that said, the first thing we need to do is remove this trunk liner to get access to the tail lights. Usually there are some retainers here and there, but as you can see, mine are missing. So this will be pretty easy. I'm also going to remove this black center trunk piece, which is just held in by some push clips. Okay, with that stuff out of the way, the next step is to disconnect the harnesses and remove the four 11 millimeter nuts on both sides. Both sides are disconnected and ready to come off. As you can see down in there, there's some crap. It's okay though, I figured I would have to do some cleaning. But there's one thing I wanted to point out, and that is that before you pull the taillights away from the car, make sure that this grommet here is unseated and you push it out away from the body of the car. That way this harness can just snake out easily and it won't get caught up on anything.
Okay, now for some cleaning. Cleaning is done. I didn't go crazy just because this area of the car is gonna get dirty right away, but it definitely looks better than it did. So now I'm ready to remove the harnesses and swap over the bulbs to the new harnesses and install the new harnesses. All the bulbs have been swapped over and the new harnesses are installed. So now what I'm gonna do is put the tail lights in place, hook them up and then test them out before I button everything up. Both tail lights are loosely in place. The harnesses have been reconnected. So let's test everything out and see how we did. Okay guys, it looks like we are good to go. You probably couldn't see the lights very well on camera because it's the middle of the day. So what I'm gonna do is button everything up and then later on today when the sun starts to go down, I'll get you guys some more shots. You'll be able to see it a lot better and see how good it looks. The next thing we need to do is install this guy. Basically this part slows down the rate at which the lights flash. With this kit out of the box, the lights flash rather quickly. And by installing this, it slows down the flashing and makes it more comparable to the rate at which old school Mustang taillights flashed. Here is the original flasher module. It's located underneath the driver's side dash right above the pedals. So basically I just need to remove the old module, put in the new one, and we should be good to go. Okay, since this new one doesn't really come with pieces that allow you to slide this back up here in place, I'm probably just gonna zip tie it up there. All done, got it zip tied onto the bracket. Again, the new flasher module didn't come set up to slide back onto that bracket, but it's okay. Zip tying it works fine. Job done. Well, there you go, guys. This is a great little mod. It's subtle and it incorporates some Mustang heritage, which is pretty cool. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And that is gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this kit in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about the new Countach and that ZR1 that I showed you. If you wanna get a sneak peek at the next ZR1 video, be sure and check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.